Okay, looking at this hand, this is full combo here. We also have a lot of good hand traps, as well as the adventure engine, as well as access to the revolution synchron. So we're going to start going through our um, adventure engine, getting the Wander and Griffin out, because Wander and Griffin is part of the combo, because you need both of the right of Admiral and uh, Wander and Griffin to get the Baron out, so your, your uh, Junk Speeder is going to be protected. Revolution Synchron is going to bring back out since we control a Synchro. And then we're going to bring out our boy, um, Junk Speeder. Uh, we're going to summon uh, 1, 2, and four and five because we already have access to the revolution so we don't really need the one we kind of skip over it stardust synchron is going to get us the illumination and that illumination is going to enable some really good plays in the future really renewing our eights which is crazy stardust charge warrior effect we're going to draw a card we're going to get a maxi for our opponent's turn which is very nice and we're going to go into our first eight which is excel synchro stardust dragon and this also gives us access to some really cool plays with the Stardust Illumination since we control a monster that mentions Stardust Dragon. Now we're going to go into our first 10, or second 10, which is Bestial Dispatter, our key card in this combo, and you will see why very soon. Next up, we're going to go into our two fours, and that's going to be Stardust Dragon. The reason why we're going to use Stardust Dragon first is he gets to bring that Stardust token as tribute fodder for the Stardust Synchron and Trail. We're going to use those two level fours the second time to bring out Cyframe Lord Omega. Now, Omega is why this deck is cracked. Being able to take out two cards from my opponent's hand, not just one. With the power of Dispatter, we can renew, use the Banishment twice and take two separate cards. I just took out two threatening cards out of my opponent's hand, an Eveling match and a Triple Tactics talent, and it causes him to surrender. All right, going again. This is when I was testing out the feel spell, but do not look at any build during the video unless it is the build at the end, and you will see why I am doing what I am. Uh, Revolution Synchron is the really good piece that you're going to want. Castira Fenrir is super nice, too, as a really good extender. Um, you can use Castira Fenrir in place of uh, Wandering Griffin, which is really cool. Um, Baron Defear is out, uh, Rite of Amutasir, that's going to bring out the Adventure Token as well as the Faithful Adventure. Now the Faithful Adventure really helps you protect your Junk Speeder from Ash, but uh, the Baron protects it from Imperm and Valor, which that's why it's such a good combo. Because uh, you use the chain blocking of the Faithful Adventure to block the Speeder from being reacted to an Ash Blossom, bringing that Draco back to hand. It's a, just an extra card you're going to discard sooner or later. But it does the job of a negate, which is really cool plays. Um, we're going to start going through our lines. You're going to always want to go into Stardust Charge Warrior to get a free card from hand. Uh, draw a card, which could be good. It could be bad. Revolution Synchron, top deck. I'm not going to complain. I'm going to use Wheel Synchron and use it to get a free 8 out instead of using my Stardust Charge Warrior right away. <clears throat> We're going to use that to bring Jet, and we're going to go into another 8 here, which is going to be our boy, uh, Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend. Now, Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend plus Jet Synchron is going to bring out our boy, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend. Now, since we have Stardust Illumination, the level modulation is still completely fine for us. So, even though I didn't bring a um, Assault Synchron with the Excel, we can still get our 10 with Jun uh, Jet Synchron and uh, Stardust Illumination with the Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon. So that's going to bring out our Bestial Dispatter. <clears throat> now, could I have played this different? Yes, I could have used the Faithful Adventure to keep the Fenrir as a play. But, you know, live and learn. We're going to get two cards out of his starting hand, which we took one. And now we're going to take our second one, which is a Hero. Looks like my opponent is on Hero. Hero Lives is a really good starter for them, and the Liquid Soldier is a really good one of their monsters. Now, I have three negates here. I'm going to use my first one here. I really don't want to get him access to two different cards for the price of one. Um, so that is the first negate. We still have our Omni negate of Baron de Fuhr, but we're going to use that Dispatter negate to not give him access to a monster as well. When you have that amount of low cards in your hand, I'm kind of playing more aggressive than not. Um, this is his final card he's going to discard to try to draw, and that's when I'm going to use Baron de Fuhr one more time to seal that off. Now he's going to be able to set an end phase. Now the cool thing about um, Omega is that he's going to come back, 
meaning I have access to the play twice again. But since I shuffled one of his cards back, his cards are pretty much guaranteed gone, and Omega gets to come back with a body. Uh, looks like he has a trap. Uh, Hot Red will take care of that, and we're going to go for a game here. Um, being able to take two cards out of your opponent's starting hand with um, um, one monster combo is pretty insane, and the deck just has a lot of big bodies with negates in it. That's why it just flows really well. All right, going first again, Junk Converter. This is all we need in hand. Right of Amutius here gets us access to the plays as well as the Revolution in hand. We're, we're, we're good. Full combo here. Faithful Adventure is up and running, so we're going to be able to get access to our Wandering Griffin. Doesn't matter what I discard here. I could have discarded Converter or him, but honestly, I felt like uh, keeping Converter if I draw a Tuner could be very useful later on just in case this go game does go long revolution returns because we control a high level synchro and then we're going to use our junk speeder with the protection of faithful adventure as well as a baron de fear now our opponent does have the imperm which is kind of risky here um meaning we're not protected from nib anymore nib is the issue now because we are protected from the ash we we're protected from the the imperm Meaning, we're going to have to try our best to be very careful of our opponent's plays. One, two, four, and five. If we do have the extra spot, we do bring out uh, either the opposite, Junk Synchron or Revolution Synchron. Really up to you. Um, Stardust Charge Warriors coming out. We're going to draw a card here. Um, we're going to go into Excel right away here using um, the two and the, the six. Excel, I accidentally placed in the wrong zone. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to go for the Dispatter right away. Slight misplay on my part, but we're going to learn from it and we're going to move on here. We're going to Normal Summon uh, our Ash Blossom in hand using the power of Wheel Synchron to get out Cyframe Lord Omega. Now our end board isn't going to be as strong as it normally is, but we're going to still do some crazy plays here. Um, with pitching that guy, we still have another start of Synchron Engrave. So we can still trigger the trail and since we had our baron out already we're still in a really good spot here bringing out our scarlet red dragon archfiend which is the perfect uh resource to bring out hot red dragon uh we're gonna use omega effect here to take another card out of our opponent's hand goes in match it looks like my opponent is on some kind of trap deck when i take the goes in match he chooses to surrender and we are about to summon hot red dragon archfiend to finish off the combo all right, going first, Enchanter in hand. This is an interesting setup with no Revolution Synchron. We're going to have to use our boy Jet to do some of this work here. Uh, we're going to use Faithful Adventure. Our opponent has the Ash Blossom. Now, this means that we're only protected from Ash... Or we're not protected from Ash Blossom because he already used it, but we're not protected from Valor or Imperm. He still has two cards left. We're playing a really risky game here, but Junk, Speeder, or Bust, that's how this deck works. Faithful Adventure still has that protection. Let's see. It goes through. It resolves. We're going to be golden, and we're going to be able to summon one through five. Now, our opponent sees that Junk Speeder got off and chose to surrender. This card is a deal breaker most of the time. All right. This is an interesting hand. Um, no crazy tuner, but Max C is available to us. We're going second here. My opponent is on Sky Striker. Now, I only need a few special summons. That's what I'm really hoping for. But it looks like my opponent's also on Live Twin. So, looks like he's going to special summon a card. I could ask this, but I really want the draws. And that is exactly what I needed. Reborn Tango in tuning or Rite of MHC here in tuning are, one car, are two card combos that get you the full board setup. Now, my opponent ends after I use the Ash Blossom on the second proc of the guy but tuning's gonna go here my opponent has the ash blossom or the maxi unfortunately um tuning is gonna be able to resolve but revolutions here we're gonna use our tengu plays here with revolution first off you're gonna be using it to go into your boy moonlight 
uh black rose moonlight dragon we're gonna be able to get rid of that evil twin as well as chain block return the reborn tengu which is gonna show the interesting part of this deck shout out to converge gaming for helping me out with the play testing during my streams revolution plus reborn tengu is enough to bring out junk speeder now um junk speeder isn't have any protection here but honestly it's a really cool strategy i wanted to show we do resolve it nonetheless one two th four and five um no room to summon the other reborn tengu target which honestly is fine here i'm really worried about baron i'm uh, worried about nib right away so i want to get the negate on the field as soon as possible so that is what i do i then bring out my boy um excel using uh uh excel we're gonna also accidentally oh, activate jet synchron i think i misclicked there excel is gonna bring out the jet synchron as well as bring a converter to hand we're gonna destroy that trap card and we're gonna use um wheel synchron to decrease levels here to make it equal 11 to bring out psychic and punisher very generic tuner or synchro there is the nib i was waiting for that's what my baron was on the field ready to go for um good chance for him to do it while psychic and punisher was still vulnerable i'm gonna send jet to make sure my psychic and punisher is protected now we're gonna use stardust and we're gonna use stardust trail to bring out our boy um one of our level eight synchros either stardust or scarlet red dragon archfiend now we're good to go to battle here. Our monster is going to have 4,500, 6,000 damage. Look at all those cards we did. Let him draw, but it wasn't enough to take us out. Speeder or bust, baby. That's how this deck works, and it works pretty well. On to the next. All right, going second. This is an interesting hand. Our opponent is on Sword Soul. He's going to use that Sword Soul uh, 6 to bring out a Baron to Fear to start off the round. We're also going to take some damage. Just thinking about it, that means our Psychic and Punisher is online, good to go. He's going to end phase. Now, us playing around one negate is pretty simple, but it gets kind of harder when we're playing around one or two negates. Now, I'm going to try to use the small world to kind of use it as a bait, but it doesn't go through. But we get a Fenrir out of it. Now, Fenrir is going to challenge the process of eating that negate. That's what I wanted it for, and it did its job. Now, my opponent also makes me under max C, but... I've already used Fenrir here. I'm going to let him do 3,000, not get any pluses off that max C. Our opponent's going to set one and go to battle and make me take 3,000. Now, we're still at a disadvantage, but with our hand being the way it is, I'm not really worried. Especially after drawing tuning for top deck turn, we still have Junk Converter and start a Synchron, as well as we have the Foolish Burial for our boy um, Wander Water Enchantress. Uh, tuning is also available, so we're going to be able to get our Revolution Synchron up and running. Um, tuning is going to... Rite of Amritus here is going to activate, bringing the Faithful Adventure. Um, we're going to discard our uh, Stardust Trail to bring out the Water and Griffin to hand. We're going to use the Tuning to bring it to the field. Tuning to bring the last Revolution Synchron. We're going to use Revolution Synchron to go into Baron to Fear of our own, which now I'm kind of feeling kind of safe here one card face down and a baron that has no negates it's literally just a body but we're not really worried here looks like he's activating cross out looks like he just wanted to show me what he had he also had a nibiru that's what the baron is for to protect us from stuff like that that is why during our first five summons we really like to bring out the baron to fear um he goes through his cross out activation and surrenders in the middle of it kind of in a rage quit way but Honestly, it worked. It was an excellent duel. On to the next. All right, going first. This is an interesting hand. Only tuner we have access to is Jet Synchron. Could be a bad thing, but we're going to try to do our best to see what we can do with it. Uh, Faithful Adventure is going to activate, and it's going to eat the ash. Um, honestly, that's good or bad, but my play was kind to use um, the Jet Synchron as my normal Foolish Burial, bring out the Revolution, but... With him using that, it's kind of going to be a junk speeder or bust kind of situation for us. Let's see what happens. Our junk speeder gets protected from Ash, but it doesn't get protected from Imberm. Now, this is why I wanted to show this clip. This is where what happens if your junk speeder does get negated. Now, we're going to get our cards into hand. 
and let's see what we can do here. I'm going to use Jet Synchron to pitch the Draco back to end on a 6. Now I'm going to try to get Stardust Charge Warrior just to draw me one more card to see if I can get some more plays out of this card. Max C. That is a good play starter. And honestly, us having two hand traps and is better than nothing. Our opponent is playing Snake Eyes, so we do have a troubling matchup if they did have something crazy. They set two and pass. Fenrir on top deck is kind of insane. We're going to use Fenrir and our Ash Blossom in hand to bring out a Baron to Fear. We're going to try to eat those face downs both by using Destroying One and hoping that the other one will activate. Now, Imperm is there. I do not want to waste my Negate there on the Imperm because, honestly, it's not worth it. To It does the same thing, but you get to keep your Negate if you just let it go through. Now, we have Baron to Fear with a Negate on board as well as he has two cards now. He uses Dia Bell Star. He's trying to get his Dia Bell Star engine started. I allowed the summoning, but I'm going to use Max C to get some pluses before my turn. I'm going to negate the Dia Bell Star effect as soon as it activates. He does have the called by for it, but the called by doesn't really affect us too much. Um, I guess I just don't get the plusing I want to, but I really have to make sure that that Fenrir or make sure this Dia Bell Star doesn't get resolved because that's what he really needs to get started. I'm going to use my negate here to stop the Dia Bell Star in its tracks, destroy it, and we're going to go on to my turn now. With I don't have lethal on field, but tuning, I'm going to use to recycle that Fenrir back, and we're going to use Fenrir and tuning to bring back um, some more of my cards from my deck. Jet Junk Synchron is here, Assault Synchron's there. We're going to get an extra body out of this and a brand new Baron negate. Now, Honestly, this doesn't show much potential for the deck that it, it can get through Junk Speeder um, negates, but honestly, I just wanted to show it's possible. If you play your cards right and your card advantage right, you can do it. This guy's Snake Eyes build wasn't as consistent as it needed to be, and he paid the price. All right, going first. This is an excellent hand. Fenrir plus Right of Amnesty here. Amage is here, plus Faithful Adventure. We're going to see that he has the Ass Blossom for the Faithful Adventure. Um, we do have the the Jet Synchron and Stardust Drag or Synchron in hand. We're going to use Jet and Adventure um, Token to get out our Junk Speeder with a Fenrir. Honestly, is this risky business? It is, but I do have the Called By there. Doesn't look like we're going to need it. Stardust Synchron is going to get us our... Uh, Stardust Illumination. I did pop the Faithful Adventure a little too late. I, I think I misplayed there. But Stardust Illumination is here. Our combos are set. S junk plus uh, Junk Speeder is going to get us our Charge Warrior to draw us a card. Now this is where it gets insane. Revolution off the top of the deck is really good for us. Because now we have another material for Synchros from the hand. Excel is going to bring back Assault. Uh, Stardust Illumination is going to bring back Trail. Now we're going to go into our first 10 of the day, which is going to be uh, Bestial Dispatter. Next up, we're going to go into Revolution plus Wheel to equal our boy. Um, see what we're going to bring out. Scarlet Red Dragon Archfiend. Um, next up, we're going to use uh, two level fours to bring out our boy Stardust Dragon. Stardust Dragon is here. The Trail Token is here. We're going to use that token to tribute uh, to bring out Trail and start a Synchron. Now we're going to go into our next eight, which is going to be the Psyframe Lord Omega. We're going to use Revolution as our one here, and we're going to use the effect of Stardust Illumination to increase one of them to nine to get out our Baron to Fear. Now we have one more little slight play we got to do, which is going to be bring out the jet and we're going to do our Psyframe Lord Omega's uh, uh, banishes to get our two cards out of our opponent's hand. And that's what we're exactly what we're going to do here. And then we're also going to use Jet Synchron finally, pitch the Synchron to bring out Hot Red Dragon Archfiend, which gets us uh, on uh, gets us a Omni or Imperm, Omni Imperm. So on board we have four piece or five pieces of interaction. We're gonna use the first one on that field spell. I don't trust it. 
and I really don't want to give my opponent a card that's going to give him access to other resources. He's going to set two and pass there. I think it was the right play. We still had two other pieces of interaction. Reborn Tangu in hand isn't going to do anything for us. He's going to get those two other cards to hand, but I'm going to take one, and then I'm going to go right to bring it back, and then I'm also going to go right to uh, destroying the traps. First one is Dogmatic Punishment. He still has one more trap, but we also have an Omni Imperm ready to go, and it's going to seal the game there. No questions asked. All right, guys, so this is the deck list in today's video. This is the final version. I've been playing with this deck all weekend on live stream, trying to finally get all of its bits and pieces figured out. Um, we're trying out some cool additions that I think actually are worth keeping. Um, it's honestly a crazy deck. I think this deck definitely can compete. Sadly, there's cards in the deck that are have been nerfed to the point where it uh, does get affected tremendously. Um, let's start off with key cards. Um, we're going to be talking about engine specifically, uh, the adventure engine. The adventure engine is just the right amount of support you need for every single situation. Going into a seven and then a four plus a three and a one. That's perfect numbers you need for junk speeder and Baron. It's so crazy. It's a lot of renewing. The only bad part about it is right of Abby to Syria two and the wandering enchantus at one. It is a big nerf, but we deal with it. Um, a next little engine we're, we're experiment, experimenting with is Junk Converter. The ability to bring out pretty much if you have another turn, tuner in hand, um, you can exchange for the tuner that you do actually need. For example, you don't have access to the Reborn Tangu or the Adventure. You can use the uh, get access to the Junk Syngronk to still at least get a speeder out. Um, another one is... If you need access to the revolution and you have assault or jet, that is what you can do as well. Another key little combo is reborn Tengu and revolution. Them together, well, revolutions in hand gets you a seven dragon, which is moonlight. That will also activate revolutions effect to special from deck to make him a one and use the another Tengu to make a five. Really cool stuff here. Um, the, five, the extra deck main cards are really that are crazy. Of course, is Baron. He is a crazy card. But it's the Bestial Dispatter being the ability to renew the Psyframe Omega effect to take two cards out of your opponent's starting hand, making them start with three instead of five. That's insane. It Trust me, it adds up. It's pretty much two cards. It's crucial. It's insane. On to the final thing is we're playing a small... Uh, red dragon archfiend king calamity lock i don't use it very often but it is a hundred percent possible i just recommend the two card chain uh every single time now, i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys leave a comment down below and hit that subscribe button for more videos we're going to be uploading monday through friday live streaming friday through sunday now, i hope you guys have a good rest of your day and i hope you enjoyed the video see ya